new one today and we're just wanting to look at how to start or create a fresh layout so creating a template file from scratch or creating a new file that doesn't have a lot of inbuilt information uh, like our template files can in ARCHICAD. So when we go file new new we'll normally be using a template that might be the ARCHICAD 21 template in this case AUS because we're using the Australian version and we'll be using the work environment based on again what is already available to us that will probably be the standard profile so I'm going to use this standard just so we can see what that would look like and then we can look at how to uh, create our own I'm connected to a different projector than I normally would be to do these videos so you might find that the the screen is a bit squished so I apologize if it's distorting the video I'm also trying to edit a iMovie at the moment which is why I would assume my computer is running so slow. Alright, so once this is loaded, we see that it's dumped a whole lot of our tool bars and boxes all over the place. And it'll start to redistribute them based on my screen setup. Uh, and if we look back in our navigator, which is this box over the right, we see that there's lots of stories and sections and elevations, lots of saved views in our view map, and then lots of layouts and uh, masters down in the right hand side as well. Now, what we're going to do is to get rid of a lot of that information and um, clean it up so that we've got a fresh file to start with. So to do that, we're going to file, press file new and before we click on new we'll just press alt on a PC I think that's alt and on a Mac that's alt option so when I click on this new and reset all that's the option that we want new and reset all is going to clean all that up so it's gonna to have to load a new file again but it's gonna do it this time without any of that other information If you want to follow along with me and start that on your computer, so file, new, option or alt, new and reset all. Great, so that's loaded. Most importantly, we see that there's nothing on the page. We don't see any section elevation markers like we did before. And the navigator is a lot more empty. There's not much there. We're going to jump straight out of our workspace uh, and into our layout books. So our layout, we only have one layout here at the moment, and it's blank. And that's based on our master. We only have one master at the moment, and it's also blank. This is where we're going to start and we're going to edit this master so it is an A1 drawing. So right click, master layout settings, make sure this says A1 isometric and we're going to change all of these margins to 10 millimeters. Why are we using 10 millimeters? Because we also want to be able to reduce this A1 
let's call it R M A A one landscape. We want to be able to reduce this A1 down to an A3, and the minimum margin for the A3 printer that I use has 5 millimeter margin, so therefore if we halve our margins, that will be 10 down to 5. Now, if you're wanting to also print this from a plotter, you need to look up and determine what are the minimum margins of your A1 printer. That might be 20, 20, 40, 20. That would be very common. It might be 10, might be 0. Uh, you probably want to be more conservative than, or more generous than trying to make the margin as small as possible because it's not always necessarily, even if it's your drawing, going to be your printer that it gets used by. It might be someone that you're emailing drawings to. So probably better to have a bigger margin. Of course, that'll mean that you might be able to fit less information on it, but for safety's sake, to make sure that your drawing always stays to scale, you might want to increase that. For now, we're just going to leave it at 10 millimeters. We see that what happened then is that blue line moved out. So what's that blue line? That blue line represents our maximum printable area or our margin. Anything we put outside that blue line won't be visible. So that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to create a title block on this page.